There it goes. You just broke in. Leave my car door open so that there's not there's nothing in my car. And you know, I'm I've been walking around Seoul at whatever hour of the day or night, never once thinking about crime. Like hearing their experiences, it seems like the phone would still be there, so I couldn't imagine that. 안녕하세요, 원다입니다. 지난해 내차 털어 가시오라는 듯 트렁크를 활짝 열어젖힌 채 세워진 차량들의 사진이 온라인을 강타하며 미국 샌프란시스코에 거주하는 다른 차량의 오너들까지 이런 방식의 주차에 합세했다는 소식이 전해져 화제가 됐었습니다. 미국 CBS 인사이드 에디션의 보도에 따르면 이것은 미국 캘리포니아 샌프란시스코에 거주하는 주민들이 일부러 그렇게 한 것이었다고 하는데요. 과연 무슨 사연으로 샌프란시스코 주민들은 이렇게 트렁크를 열어둔 채 주차를 했던 것일까요? 미국 캘리포니아주 오클랜드에 사는 한 여성은 CBS 인사이드와의 인터뷰에서 그녀가 자신의 SUV 트렁크 문을 열어두는 이유는 도둑들에게 차에 가져갈 것이 없다는 것을 보여주기 위해서라고 말합니다. 즉 차량 창문을 깨고 차량 내부의 물품을 훔쳐가는 도둑들이 극성을 부리고 있기 때문에 차량에 손상을 가하는 일이 벌어지기 전에 트렁크를 활짝 열어둠으로써 차량 내부에 훔쳐갈 물건이 존재하지 않는다는 것을 미리 도둑에게 알려주는 것이라는 겁니다. There you go, you just broke in. Flores Parisa Hamat left that black SUV open. I leave my car door open so that there's not there's nothing in my car, and I just they, they can see that there's nothing to take. 어떤 이들은 창문에 문이 열려 있으니 문을 이용해 주세요. 제발 유리를 깨지 마세요. 라는 문구가 적힌 종이를 걸어두기도 한다고 합니다. 고가의 물건을 버젓이 카페 테이블 위에 놔둔 채 화장실을 다녀와도 아무도 훔쳐가지 않는 일이 일상인 한국인들에게는 참 상상하기 힘든 상황인데요. 하지만 그들은 우리와 정반대 이유로 한국에서 일어나는 일들이 상상이 안 된다고 합니다. 지난 11월 미국 펜실베니아 주립대학의 사회학 교수인 샘 리차드 교수는 그가 한국에 방문했을 당시 경험했던 일들을 학생들에게 들려주며 범죄를 주제로 강의를 진행했었는데요. 범죄가 만연한 세상에서 당연한 듯 살아온 학생들은 한국에서 일어나는 이런 일들이 그들 입장에서는 상상하기가 참 힘들다고 말합니다. 함께 보시죠. Well, the past two weeks I was in Seoul, and um, what I what I realized in Seoul a couple of times, several times actually, but um, had all these experiences that I was reminded of being. Um, in different other places in the world where I don't ever think about crime. And, you know, I'm, I'm walking around Seoul at whatever hour of the day or night, um, never once thinking about crime. You know, one time, for example, my wife uh, left her phone on a bench in the middle of the city, right? And, and then we, she left and was like, oh, man, my phone. And but never worried that someone was going to take it. Was just worried that she had to get back there to get it because her phone was going to be sitting on the bench. Um, you just it's just not by and large it's not an issue. And I think what what I experienced being able to be in public and pull a big wad of money out anywhere, and you know. My phone, just having my phone wherever, it's just, it's just a non-issue, right? I'm not going to get robbed at all. And what I realized was how much that has impact, crime has impacted me. And just here, in, in most parts of this country, right? State college is a little bit different, but nonetheless, right? Uh, how much crime has impacted me? And in different places that I go, how I'm really thinking about it, just constantly thinking about it, right? Like, so um, I s spend a, f a fair amount of time in Colombia because I have an apartment in Bogota. And, you know, I leave, I'm in a, I'm in a, we live in a really safe, what would be a safe area of the city. But first off, I don't mostly think about crime because I just feel like I just don't think about it consciously because I'm a sociologist and I can read things pretty quickly, but it's in my subconscious. And so we live in this, it's a relatively safe area, but the safe area is about four blocks. And even right outside the, our door um, of the apartment building, people get robbed. You know what I mean? You go out with your phone and like suddenly you're, someone comes out of nowhere and your phone's gone. 
So it's just a constant battle, you know. I mean, you got to watch at every moment. You're watching, just paying attention to stuff. Non-issue in Korea. Never thought about it. And so what, what I was thinking is, huh, it'd be really nice to have a conversation about that and to talk a little bit about different parts of the world and how people think about crime and also how we think about guns. So I want to have this conversation about just different aspects of crime. Because once again, one thing that I think is really fascinating for me as a sociologist is that I, I get that we, as a class, we get to listen to our classmates talk about, I could just tell you things and give you PowerPoint slides and stuff, but it's much more interesting, I think, to hear from people. Like, what's it like, right? Just say something about just who you are and where you're from. Hi, my name is Shin Young, and I'm from South Korea. You're from Seoul, yeah, right? Yeah, Seoul, South Korea. Yeah. Hi, uh, my name's Yi Jing Ling. I'm from south of China. Can you just switch seats with Sarah here, bro? Just mix up the genders a little bit. All right, what's up, guys? I'm from New York. My name's Christian. I live in Long Island now, but I was born in New York. Hi, everyone. My name is Bharat, and I'm from Bombay, India. My name's Sarah. I'm from a small town in South Jersey. It's called Hamilton. Hello, everyone. I'm from Mecca, Saudi Arabia, and my name is Amr Abu Arab. And so we, we could just start with, how often are you thinking about crime? We don't have to go down the line, so any, anybody else who I wants know. to go? But go ahead. Um, I don't really think about crime that much, especially just being from a small town. Hamilton, like, I can't remember the last time something like horrible has happened. But I think, like, say I go outside of Hamilton, I like, go to Philly a lot. So sometimes I think about crime there. Or um, if I'm out with my friends, especially being a girl at night, like if I'm going to, say, Target or something, walking to my car alone, that's kind of scary. But in my hometown, I don't think about it very often. So, so walking to your car, like, at night, it's scary. Yeah. Uh-huh. And when you decide, hey, I'm, you know, I'm going into the city or something, right? Do your parents talk about it? Yeah. Last Christmas, I actually was going to go to Philly, but my parents actually didn't let me because of the rising, like, crime in the city. Yeah? So I wasn't allowed to go. Huh. All right. Somebody else? Um, where I live, luckily I'm in like a safe neighborhood, but if you go out anywhere else, like, not, okay, not anywhere else, like you're going to get robbed oh, or anything, close. but like when you go into the city, I bring, I bring a knife with me. I just have a knife in my backpack or like on my person, just, just like in case. And then also like I, stuff started getting stolen from me when I was in school at like a young age. That's just cause like, I don't know. Kids just like to steal, I guess. So, like, crime was apparent to me a lot of the time. And then, like, I knew kids in high school that would, like, break into cars and just, like, steal. And then, like, gangs and stuff were prevalent where I lived. So, so I would, yeah, crime was, like, on my mind a lot of the time. And, like, when I went to the city, I would, like, make sure to put a rubber band around my wallet in my pocket. So if I tried to get pickpocketed, it would, like, pull out and you'd know that somebody's pulling your wallet out and i don't know just like just like weird stuff that you start to think about when you know there's crime prevalent dude what question do you have for him man like he just said he never thinks about crime crime's a non-issue where he's from i mean that would be sick i want to not think about crime thinking about crime sucks because then you gotta like be on your toes i found that quite interesting that you have to put like a rubber band on your wallet so you'd feel well, when you someone's just, pulling it that's just, a new thing you just do it for like safety precautions because if somebody pickpockets you like a lot of the time there's not one person pickpocketing you so like somebody will come up and distract you and then there'll be like other people that start surrounding you and they start taking your stuff so if you do put like it was my dad my my friend's dad that grew up in the bronx told me to do it and he was like he was like yo if you go into the city just keep a rubber band on you and like make sure it's around stuff that you care about when it's in your pocket because the rubber band will like cause friction in your pocket and you'll know that somebody's trying to take yeah from i you. used to do that in yeah. ecuador i get pickpocketed all the time now how about you how's crime how's crime in china man i would say that we growing up in china we don't really worry about like robbery or like homicide but pickpocketing definitely like is a concern uh, when you go to like some touristy spots. A touristy spot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but 
I didn't know that you can put like a rubber band on your wallet to prevent it from happening. But and also, I think uh, like nowadays when I think about crime, I think there's definitely like a gender difference. Like girls would be worried at night, and because um, they're and especially like things like sexual assault, um, it definitely happens when like late at night, like like drunk men would like approach girls and try to. I don't know, like take advantage of them or something. So it's like definitely a like a heated debate going on, especially on the internet between like genders. Um, so people talk about like gender-related crimes more uh -huh, often uh -huh. than like robbery or homicide. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. All right. Parth, how about you? Like, how often are you thinking about and talking about crime? Um, In Bombay. Quite often. Um, because um, considering not not all crimes, maybe just highlighting something like um, pickpocketing and thefts, you you need to be very careful. So at the at every moment when you step out, you need to be careful when you are in um, maybe public places. Uh huh. So you you never understand where you have been theft or you you have been you you have something missing from your. Uh, pockets and who's and who's committing the crime when you are in in Mumbai right you're walking on the street how do you know who to be afraid of or concerned about maybe who follows me or maybe continues to follow me for a quite a longer, longer uh -huh. distance so you have an idea that there, there's something gonna happen wrong uh-huh how about you so in Seoul I don't think I think about crime while I'm walking the street. You don't? I don't, but just in case, because my town has so many alley, yeah. so I took like knives, just in case. So you would, instead of taking like a really small alley, you might take a more of a larger street? Yeah. Just in case, so what, what do you mean just in case? In case, like sexual assault stuff. Mm -hmm. So for you, it's as a woman, it's as a that. Woman. But not the robbery or something. Uh -huh, I don't uh -huh. dare think about it. You never think about it. Yeah, yeah. And I've been to Korea. I've been to Seoul before. It's like I would like just leave my bag in public. Yeah. I don't worry about people like taking those stuff. But like at night, I think it's like pretty common. Like girls like worry about like sexual assault more yeah, than like yeah. pickpocketing and stuff. Yeah. You know, so the story I gave about Lori and her phone, that you can you relate to that. Like she left her phone on the bench. She's what happened was we ended up calling her phone and someone picked it up. And I was with someone who was Korean, so she talked to them, um, and and they said, "Oh yeah, yeah, no, the phone's right here." Well, and we said, "Okay, we're going to send her back to get it." And they said, "Okay, yeah, we'll just, but we can bring it to you." And we're like, "No, that's okay. We'll just come back. It's easier." I mean, it's just like nothing. Sarah, do you can you do you have questions for them? Like, let's let's like, how would that be? To what would it be like for you to be in a in a city like Seoul? I think it would definitely be strange, but also like where I'm from specifically, the yeah, small right. town that I could leave my stuff and it'd be fine. But yep. if I was in a big city, I wouldn't leave it. I was actually in, it reminds me, I was in Wildwood, New Jersey a couple years ago and I left my phone in the bathroom for probably about 10 minutes and I came back and it was gone. Uh -huh. So, I mean, that's kind of relatively the same area as me, but like hearing their experiences, it seems like the phone would still be there. So I couldn't imagine that. 